welcome back to my channel. I have another Disney video for you guys. Hopefully you're not getting sick of them because I thought I was done filming them and I had them all posted and then a bunch more ideas popped into my head while we were on vacation to Disney. If you don't like Disney, you're probably pretty annoyed with me right now. But if you do like Disney, then you will like this video because it's a Disney video. And I shared in my, um, I did a video a while back called how I saved a thousand dollars on my Disney vacation. And I talked in that video about how Disney is, or has recently rolled out something new where if you opt out of housekeeping or mousekeeping as they call it, they will actually give you a Disney gift card. I talked about that's one way to save money. Um, and so we definitely did decide to do that on our trip this year. And I wanted to share with you guys kind of how it went, how it works, and would we do it again? So as of right now, it's 2018, and they may change it later on, I don't know. But as of right now, you get a $10, you get $10 for every night of your trip when you opt out of housekeeping. So for us, we stayed nine nights. So the first night they don't give you anything for. Um, so every night after the first night. So for nine nights, we got an $80 Disney gift card just for opting out of housekeeping. And we, a lot of times, would not have housekeeping come anyway. Um, just because I didn't want people in and out of my room, which I realize now they do still come in your room to check it every day they're supposed to. Um, just because of that issue that happened in Vegas with the guy with the guns or whatever it was. So now they still, they have the right to come in your room. But even before that, like I didn't have housekeeping come every day. And I don't care if someone changes my sheets every day. As long as I have towels and I don't have trash like piling up and I've got like soap and stuff, I don't need housekeeping to come in and make my bed every day or leave me a, a wash rag, a washcloth animal. Like I don't need that. And I would much rather have the money. So that's what we opted to do. So we checked in and when we checked in, we told the people at the desk that we did not want housekeeping and they said they were gonna uh, email us a Disney gift card for $80. And we got it really, really quickly. We got it about an hour after we checked in. So it's not something that you get at the end of your trip that you have to like use later on. You can, you can use it during your trip because you'll get it really soon after you check in. So that was nice. We actually used it um, the first night we were there to eat at Rainforest Cafe. So it actually covered our bill at Rainforest and we had a little bit left over. So that was nice. If you out, opt out of housekeeping, like I said, they will not come in and change your sheets. They're not gonna leave you any cute little washcloth animals. They won't make your bed or anything like that. But if you call them, which is really easy to do because there's a housekeeping button on your phone in the room, you just call them and let them know when you need something. So we called multiple times for towels and washcloths and even a toothbrush. My daughter dropped her toothbrush on the floor and so I didn't want to pick it back up and have her stick it in her mouth. So we threw that away and they brought her a new toothbrush. They brought laundry bags multiple times. Um, and then they would also empty the trash and pick up their dirty towels. We just had to call them and tell them, you know, hey, can you come empty the trash? Can you come do the towels? Um, so that was nice. If you have a reason, they will bring you fresh bedding, but they're not going to just come in and change your sheets and make your bed for you every day. I'm looking at my notes, by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm looking at. Um, so for us, that was kind of how we like to do things anyway. So it was definitely worth opting out of housekeeping to get that gift card. As much as I love and was happy with this experience of opting out of housekeeping, there is one main issue and with anything like there's positives and negatives with everything and I realize this is still a fairly new thing that Disney is doing so they really just maybe need to fine tune it a little bit. Um, but there was one issue that we ran into that I was going to share in this video. So when I checked in like I had to ask them for the opting out of housekeeping option. It wasn't something that they asked me. So if I hadn't known about this ahead of time I would not have known to ask. Um, our person that checked us in did not ask us, um, do you want to opt out of housekeeping for this, you know, in exchange for a gift card? So at least my person didn't, maybe other ones would, but so if I hadn't known about this ahead of time, I would not have known to ask and I would have cost myself that $80 gift card. So that's the first thing. So if you think you want to do it, then definitely you need to bring it up to them because they may not bring it up to you. They also, when, when I told them we wanted to opt out of housekeeping, the person at the reservation like check-in area did not tell us how to get things that we needed them. They didn't tell us to call if we need housekeeping. They didn't tell us what to do with our trash or our dirty towels. Like they didn't tell us anything. I had to find that out by calling housekeeping once I actually got in my room. Also, the first time that our trash got full and we needed our towels like taken away, our dirty towels, I didn't know what to do with them. So I called housekeeping and I said, what do I do with them? And she said, oh, we'll just sit it outside your door, like, you know, your towels and your uh, trash and somebody will come and pick them up. So I did that and they lay there 
for a couple days. Nobody came and picked them up. So finally, I called back to housekeeping and I said, you know, we have this trash and these towels that are in bags outside of our door that we need to have taken away and nobody came to take them. And she's like, oh, well, you're not supposed to put them outside. You're supposed to leave them right inside the door, inside the door of your room and then call us and somebody will come and change your trash and take your towels. And I was like, oh, okay. So apparently other people were given incorrect information too because seeing trash and dirty laundry outside of people's rooms, like in the hallway of the hotel was a somewhat common thing that we saw on our trip. Um, these are just some pictures that kind of show when you're walking to your room and you're walking through the halls of the resort, this is kind of a common thing that we saw with trash and dirty laundry laying outside people's doors. Definitely not something that I know Disney would, would be happy with or it's not something they intended. Um, so I definitely think there's a communication, maybe a training issue where like they need to train everybody in the cast, everybody from the front desk to the people at housekeeping, everybody needs to be told the same thing and be telling people, you know, guests the same thing. You know, one person's telling you to leave it outside, one person's telling you to leave it inside your room, you know, they need to be um, consistent with their training and consistent with what their cast members are telling people because it is unsightly to walk down your hotel hallway and see people's trash and dirty laundry laying around in the hallway. So um, it's definitely something I think Disney can work on and perfect. And then this, this whole system of opting out of housekeeping I think would be perfect. Another thing that would have been helpful, again, with training and teaching would be when we checked in, if the person at the desk would have been trained to tell us, you know, what to do with our laundry and what to do when we needed towels and things like that. Um, that again is a training issue, a communication issue that could have been better that would have avoided this situation for me and probably everybody else. They would have known what to do with their trash. They would have known not to sit it out in the hallway if they were told when they checked in what to do and if even they were given maybe something to, look, to read, another, you know, another piece of paper that they give you when you check in that says, you know, opting out of housekeeping, this is what you do you know, and the do's and don'ts. So that's, again, a communication thing that could very easily be fixed. It just needs to be fixed before I feel like that this no housekeeping program is really going to be perfect. So that is pretty much our experience in a nutshell of this new opting out of housekeeping or mousekeeping thing that Disney is doing. I think it's a great idea, especially for people like us who did not want housekeeping every day anyway. We definitely did not have an issue with needing anything. As soon as I needed towels or anything, I would call and they would be brought up to us very quickly. So that was not an issue. That was still really excellent, you know, service. And then you can also just keep doing housekeeping. You know, maybe you don't want to opt out of housekeeping. You don't want to have to worry about calling and saying, you know, come get my trash or come get my dirty towels or bring me this or that. That's definitely an option too. You know, you're on vacation and you don't have to do that. If you want somebody to come and like do your room for you and make your bed and leave you a washcloth Mickey, then that's definitely an option for you too. But if you're like us and you really don't care about housekeeping or you care more about getting that Disney gift card, then it's definitely a good option. And hopefully this video will help to educate you a little bit until Disney can get that kind of training and teaching situation with the trash and towels and all that. Um, hopefully this helps you too. So you kind of know what to do when you get there. If they, if you don't know what to do with your trash, you don't know what to do with your dirty towels. Um, don't leave them in the hallway. Set them inside the door of your room and then call housekeeping and say, hey, I've got some trash and dirty towels. Can you come and pick them up? So that's what I learned in this trip. It was a really interesting experience and I'm really, I'm really happy with it. I think it's a great idea. So just throwing that out there for you guys to make your own decisions. Make sure you check out my description box. I will have my Disney playlist link for you guys. Every single Disney video I have ever made, and there's quite a few, is in that playlist. So if you're planning a Disney trip or you just like talking and listening about Disney, then you will find some videos in there, hopefully that you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you wanna see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.